Pocho size good. <laughs> um, we are just leaving church right now and I tried to get the vlog done before we left for church, but it was messing up again. Sorry, there's a little thing on the lens. Again, there is a, I don't know, the last video didn't work. I'm worried my camera's freaking out. I don't know. Anyway, update. So we were supposed to go to this open house today for this miracle house that I'm praying for. And I got an email, or I emailed the guy back and I said, okay, we'll be there today for the open house. Well, he emailed me back last night about 11.30 and he tells me that he had an emergency come up. So he's not gonna be able to do the open house. But something about he has the keys there with him and if things work out, he'll get us the keys. So of course I'm disappointed because I'm thinking it's a scam. Of course, of course he can't do the open house. Like it's a scam, right? And so then I emailed him back and I said, okay, thanks. Um, oh, but he did say, but go drive by the house, go look at it, which he doesn't know that or I've already done that. Um, so he said, I emailed him back and I said, can we look in the windows? You know, if somebody is there, I don't, obviously don't wanna look in the windows. And he said, no, he wrote back this morning about 5.30 and he said, no, go right ahead. Um, the house is ready to be rented, so please look in the windows. So that's the update. We're going there right now. I'm still hesitant. I, it just seems too good to be true. It really does. Like, so this house, on Zillow, it's renting for $2,400 a month. Did I tell you guys this already? But on Craigslist, he posted this house for rent for $1,600. I know that there's scammers out there. That's why I'm being very hesitant. I'm definitely not gonna give him any information um, at all. I mean, obviously he knows my name, but I'm not gonna give him any financial information or give him a, you know, wire him any money, any anything like that. Not at all. So, we'll see. We're gonna go drive by and we're gonna go stock this house so you guys get to come with us. It's raining, of course. I don't have a coat, it's cold. Well, it sounds like they, they moved to Texas and they just wanna get it rented. They wanna get people in there, family in there, and he, maybe he just wants to just get it done and not have to worry about it. But. Yeah, but then I'm thinking, he has to be dealing with other people. I mean, a house in this area for 1600 is yeah. pretty much unheard of. So, why is he so like, yeah, go look at it, I'll, I'll rent it to you guys. Like, he's never met us, so. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna go check it out, so. Okay, we're at the house. There's a car in the driveway. <laughs> So Shad's going to go knock really quick and see if anybody answers. No. Here, I can't do this. See if anybody answers the door. Nobody answers. Really? Oh gosh, somebody answered. Somebody answered. Somebody answered the door. Oh, that's not good. It's like a scam. What? Scam. What'd you say? It's already been rented. Like you gotta tell that man, like, we found out what you're doing. She said you're the third person that's come back today. Are you serious? They're not trying very hard for a scam. No. Well, so I'm worried. Can he hack my email? I need to change my email password, probably. <laughs> Was she nice though? Oh okay. yeah. Okay. I said sorry to bother you, but and she just kind of smiled and was like, "It's a scam." <sighs> well, sorry guys. How does how is their name on the public record as the owners unless they change their email? You know. Yeah. Wow. Got our hopes up. I knew. I knew it was. I mean, I was still hoping, but it just seemed, it did not seem right, so. All right, so home from church. Sorry, I have the dishwasher going again. So it's loud. Um, we're having leftovers, again. This is like our third or fourth time having leftovers. 
but I actually, I have stuff to make, like a no-bake pumpkin cheesecake. So I'm tempted to do that. However, I feel that we have, one of our kids is lying to us, and so I'm thinking maybe they shouldn't get any dessert. So there are marshmallows missing from Sophia's little trick she did this morning. She spelled out the word hi in marshmallows, and there's some missing, and nobody's owning up to it. So should I make a big deal out of it? I don't know. It's only marshmallows. I don't care that they're eaten, but somebody's lying and saying that, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. Well, we know Sophia didn't do it. <laughs> so somebody's lying and I have a hard time with that. Did you drink your sippy all gone? Keaton, did you eat the marshmallows? Keaton, did you eat the marshmallows? <laughs> Guess where we are. I'm feeling a hug. Guess where we are. Oh, watch out, Kennedy. <laughs> I'm feeling um, we're at Costco. Do they have one? No, they have like three bins of men's socks. Four. But not the ones that you usually get? On the very bottom, there's the Adidas. He just doesn't like Adidas. But they're cheaper here. We looked. But this hood is very fuzzy. Evidently, kids need a winter coat. So we got to spend money on a coat. <laughs> <laughs> Even though she's always out without wearing one. Oh, do you want me to hold it? Oh, yeah. I do. do you want me to hold it? Are you trying to set it down? Oh, well, I'll hold it, okay? I don't see him. Really? Uh, I don't see any shorts. Maybe down here. Okay, well, let's look. Oh, these are only dress socks. I never realized he was so picky about his socks. But they have to be short. He really doesn't want them to be Nike or Adidas. Okay. Well. Okay. Oh my gosh, Keaton. Okay, she's alive. Just a little scared. She's alive. I really want these. Thirteen ninety nine. What are they for? Serving dishes. You know. You take it out of one dish and then you have to put it in another dish. And then you can put it oh, in Oh, you're really good dish. at that. <laughs> He's really good at making extra dishes for me. Look at that yeah. big relish tray. I'm liking that. I like that. Oh. Ooh, the chips and dip one. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. It should have like little legs so it sits on your lap. On oh my couch. gosh. It has, so it has a wooden thing. Oh, it doesn't turn. No, it's supposed to sit on your lap. On it's couch. supposed to sit on your lap? Yeah, on the couch. You put it right on your lap. <laughs> Man, we need better jobs. <laughs> Make more money. I want that. Ooh, and then get a lazy Martha. Lazy Martha. Martha. We're all done. You want to go bye-bye? You want to go home? Yes? Okay. Shad's hungry. We're going to be done. It feels really late, but it's not even 6 o'clock. Broncos are starting. Yeah. What time? 5.30. Oh, I didn't think it started at like 6.20 or something. Well, we need to go home and watch the Broncos. What time is it? For sure. Like, almost 6. Alright, Keaton has had her bath. And all lotioned up and she has a little bit of a diaper rash. So we put some cream on her tush. Oh no. Okay, eat it. She just stuck her hand in the toothpaste. Yeah, but it's been a little red since the other day. Oh, do you put cream on it? Yeah, I have been. Last okay. two days. The day when you were like, man, a diaper's full. Oh, that was yesterday. Yeah. I didn't know. Mommy. I mean, I didn't. Daddy, Daddy thinks Kate only needs a diaper change when she's poopy. Yeah? No. You just don't think about it unless you smell it. 
Right, or to change the clothes, or time to her bed, or... Yeah. Well, here. Anyway, we keep Muzz to brush her teeth. Don't you? Oh. Let mommy do it first. Let mommy do it first and then Keaton and can, okay? Oh. Are you gonna read Winnie the Pooh? Oh, okay. Are you all done with your toothbrush? Oh, thank you. Wait, you're not bringing it to me. Are you bringing it to me? No, oh, okay. Oh, see, I don't want it on the floor. All done? Oh, man, she's fast. <laughs> Faster than mommy. <laughs> okay, give mommy your toothbrush. Thank you. All done. Thank you. No, 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 no. Are you saying hi? Oh, good lord. No, don't touch the wise men. Keaton, no. No, no. No, or the shepherd. No, put it down. Ah! Oh my gosh. Maybe we just need to put that up. Well, I'm thinking about getting her her um... own. All right, we're breaking out the cheesecake. Oh man. Oh man, stupid baby gate. Baby gate's on upside down. What? Um, do you know where a um, not used water bottle would be? We're gonna try this cheesecake. Oh, then we're gonna need you to get down the thing. Oh, that's good. I hope this is good. Okay, night night time for Keaton. Can you tell everybody good night? Well, you already had your gummy. Hey, tell everybody night night. Night night. She just Tomorrow. wants another vitamin. Tomorrow, hey, these are can one you, of days. Can you say night night? Yeah, little kisses. Say good night. Night night. Okay, so it's pumpkin cheesecake. Doesn't taste like cheesecake, but it tastes like a pumpkin pie blizzard. Like. That's sugar. Yeah, this is all like fat free stuff though. So. Mm. Still good. Broncos just missed a throw. Okay, guys. I think we're going to call it a night. <sighs> Finish watching the Broncos. They got to win. They got to beat the Chiefs. They have to. So, oh gosh. Anyway, okay. So. Hope you guys have had a great day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for praying about that house for us. Our prayer was answered. It's a no. There you go. Now on to something different and better, right? So, um, anyway, tomorrow's Monday. Oh boy. Back to regular weeks of work and not fun. Anyway, okay. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. You want to say goodbye? Mm -hmm. Goodbye. You want to say goodbye? Bye. <gasps> he missed it. The Broncos are playing. They're in overtime. <sighs> oh my gosh. They just tried to do a 62-yard field goal, which wasn't good. I think they should have just gone for it. We only needed 10 yards. We had just as good of a chance as a 62-yard field goal. No way. Now the Chiefs can do a freaking field goal and win the whole game. Oh my gosh, this is like giving me, a, my hands are sweating. I'm, oh my gosh. If you're a Broncos fan, oh, sack him! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, God, out. Do you guys watch football? Tell me who your favorite team is in the comments below. Let me know who your favorite football team is, okay? Mine is the Broncos. <laughs> Shout out to the Seahawks. Oh my gosh, they're playing in Denver. Oh my gosh. And then the guy can just do a field goal and the Chiefs are gonna win. Crap, he just got a first down.
Well, what would have happened if they would have punted it? Then they would have been, at least the Chiefs would have been cleared down at the end of the field. They should have punted the ball. Yeah, and, and the, the, the most likely outcome would have been a tie. Yeah. Five. All right, they're going to do a field goal. I know I have other Bronco fans on here, so I know they're watching this game and freaking out like I am. <laughs> I have friends that are Chiefs fans too. They're all happy. Oh my gosh, please miss it. Please miss it. Four hour game. I started at 5 30. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Block it. Miss the ball. Miss it. Miss it. You guys, this is it. He's going to try and block it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 34 yards. Block it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> he missed it! Oh! oh! It went through. It went through. It bounced through. It bounced off the uprights and went through. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the good and the bad of our lives. This is the bad. Well, the Seahawks lost today. Now the Broncos lost today. Ugh. Yep. That was a very bad call. They shouldn't have let him try that field goal. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right. Now I'm going to end it for sure. Was that fun? <laughs> you guys don't care if you don't watch football. <laughs> it was fun for us. It was exciting. Good game. Yeah. <sighs> But my Broncos lost. I still love them. They played really good, except for the end. Ugh. Okay. Now we're gonna end this. We're gonna say goodnight. I'm tired. I need to go lay on the heating pad. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.